today um, we are going to discuss the most important point for the farm d students and this is a very very important um, session most of the farm d students are confused about the which country need to be select so today's topic is the country selection especially for the farm d students okay as a pharmacist career consultant um, every week at least around about 100 to 150 pharmacy students I met and give them a different kind of counseling about the career. So what the common thing I have observed in the PharmD students, <clears throat> most of the PharmD students, around about if I met the 100 PharmD students, 60 students are thinking to go to US for building their career as a pharmacist. Around about 25 to 30 percent of the students are thinking to go to Canada and 10 percent students are thinking to go in different countries. So this is the overall statistics I come across. 60 percent students are thinking to go to US because most of the PharmD students either they are uh, thinking the only US is the best option for them and the second important thing is that PharmD is going to be given more value if they are going to select the US. But what the reality and the real statistics of the Indian students, those who are planning to go to abroad for further education, around about 90% of the students from India, if they are planning to go to abroad for further education, their primary objective is to get the good job. They want to settle down there. That means the permanent residency or they want to stay there for a longer period of time to work. And the third is they want to earn a good and decent amount of money. So this is the main objective of 90% of the students. Remaining 10%, out of 10%, around about 7% of the students are going because they want to just go for the further study. After study, they want to come back to India and they can take care of their parents' business. Around about only 3% students from India, they are going to abroad because they have only and only objective is to study specific things. Okay. So the first you have to identify yourself in which category you are belonging. Are you comes under 90%, you are comes under 7% or you are comes under 3%. If you are coming under 90% then this video is for you. So 90% of the students, those who are thinking to go to abroad with the three main objectives, permanent residency, job and money, then you have to be very careful about the country selection. For example, if you are going to select US as your destination, so what you are going to do while you are studying, for example, if you are going to study two years in US, along with your study, XYZ program you are going to study in US, along with your study, what you are going to do? You are going to complete your ECE document evaluation, you will complete your NABP process, you can write down your FPGEE exam, you will do your TOEFL, IBT, on based upon that you will get your FPGEC. So up to here, you can complete this process while you are studying in USA. After that what happened, normally in US after studying you will get OPT, after OPT during OPT time, you can complete your NAPLEX MPG in training and become the pharmacist license. After that, you will probably get H1B. So, after H1B to green card is a long journey. It takes longer period of time. So, if your intention is starting as a student and want to end up as a green card holder this will take a longer period of time on other side what best you can do is if you are selecting canada as your destination what best you can do while you are studying in canada you study xyz program while you are studying you can complete your P E B C document evaluation, P E B C evaluating exam, 
क्वालिफाइंग एग्जाम कंप्लीट योर इंटर्नशिप and get your pharmacist license this is the one thing pebc and fpg both have a similar kind of syllabus structure so while you are in canada you can complete this entire process as a visitor so on based upon this two years study in canada you will get three years work permit so you have a more protection if you are going to study for 2 years you will get 3 years work permit that means you have a longer period of time to settle down out of 3 years in in within a first year you can work as a pharmacist and more likely you will get your permanent residency you can get your job as a pharmacist you can get permanent residency and earn very good amount of money because the pharmacist in canada and us earning almost same so from here to here you can travel within 3 years that means is is a shorter period compared to us on other side you have achieved the same thing that supposed to be achieved while you are in usa so now after 3 years if you want to migrate to us you can go on based upon h1b visa complete this little bit part and you can work as a pharmacist in us as well so now you have both the options us as well as canada so if you are not sure about the which country to select you just compare yourself you can find out what are the objectives you have and on based upon that i would suggest if you are just looking for the better career with the minimum investment of time and money canada would be the better option but if you have any other specific circumstances um like family social or any other things then if you want to think about us it would be okay okay so you have to figure out what you are looking for and on based upon that you have to select the different country australia is also not the bad option australia is a very good option to work as a pharmacist um if you have a license to practice as a pharmacist in australia you can work in uh, new zealand as well so this should be the customized every individual has their own needs so the country selection will play an important role here pharma vision we can help you to select the which one is the best country for you but up to now this video can help you to make a little bit like constructive decision about the country selection thank you very much have a nice day see you soon bye bye